Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can um, decrease or increase if you wanted to the uh, spawn time when you first fire up DayZ and you want to go into your private um, community custom server. We're looking at Nitrado here but this works for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, whatever. Basically what we're going to be going in is we're going to be going in and looking at the globals.xml file. So what you want to do is, you may well do this offline, you may well do, you know, are using an FTP, but this is the globals.xml is a really small file. So um, you don't really have to worry too much about downloading it and can do it. So I always recommend you stop your server when you're doing this sort of thing. Um, and obviously no um, changes will come into effect until you restart your server. But find your um, mission file. And then you want to go into the DB folder. And then you want to click on globals.xml. Now, before you make any changes, you should obviously make a backup. Just in case you bugger stuff up. But there's lots of there's lots of things you can mess around with here to change. But the ones we're interested in are down here. Time login and time log out. So, you know, who wants to wait around for 15 seconds when they get in? Maybe. Turn that down a little bit, maybe turn it down to five seconds. I'm not sure why there is a delay. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Because I you would think they would have a delay so that the game looks at would look at where your position is and actually start loading the map before you appear on it. That would kind of make the sense, wouldn't it? So in the background, your Xbox or your PlayStation or your PC is loading the map in. So when you actually finally do load in, everything's there. Instead of what actually happens is you 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 appear and then the whole map kind of <laughs> seems to load in in front of you, doesn't it? And sometimes it crashes even. Um, that, that happens uh, quite a lot on PlayStation. Um, so, you know, maybe make that, you know, 10 seconds or 5 seconds. Log out is an interesting one because, obviously, it can put you in a situation where... Uh, the, the reason why you have a timer on log out is so that you can't do... Um, you can't log out, for example, during um, battles. Say you're battling with someone against a player. Um, or zombies, or wolves, or, or anything. Actually, you can't just say, "All right, quit," and you disappear, and your character's safe. Because for, for those fifteen seconds, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're very vulnerable. Your character, you've got no control of your character. It's just kind of kne kneeling down, and could still be being attacked by, um, by animals or, or people. So there could be an argument, indeed, if you're playing PvP servers, to in fact, or even hardcore. PVE servers where you know you really don't want people to be able to log out in a dangerous situation where you could increase that to say 30 seconds or 45 seconds um, so that you know say you were in a PVP situation where you were at the top of a well say someone was at the top of the um, uh, air traffic control tower at the northwest airfield and you were down below them um, and you've shot them a couple of times and you knew you'd wounded them and you wanted to run up there and finish them off um, it would take you longer than 15 seconds to get to the top of that building for them to you know log off um, whereas you know if you had a say a spawn um, a log out time of like a minute that would mean you know you people who are involved in PV PVE would really have you'd have to disengage from the fight completely wouldn't you you'd have to go somewhere if it's a whole minute you're going to be vulnerable for you're going to make sure you can find somewhere quiet you're going to lock yourself in a house or, or in a shed or something and then you're log, going to log off that way um, so yeah so there we go um, that's how you adjust the spawn in times the log in times or the spawn out or the log out times it's in the globals.xml um, so there we go hopefully that's useful if it is hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe obviously what you would then do is when you change it, you press save and restart the server <laughs> and i'll see everybody again soon